Why has developing interpersonal skills become a core focus for you now? I have developed a level of um, proficiency in what I do and a confidence in it um, that, you know, has been unprecedented for me prior to completing this last film. Um, so when I work a TV job now, and if I were to make another documentary, it's not so much skills that I need to pick up anymore. I've done that. But when I look at what the real problems were in making my last film, you know, it wasn't trusting my vision. I did. Um, it was interfacing with those around me who were challenging my vision. That was where the friction came from. And I feel like if I had handled myself better and those situations better, there wouldn't have been as much friction. And it could have been a much better experience for everybody. I mean, people around me behaved how they did, but I have to take responsibility for what I created. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like being told what to do. I'm impatient. Once I have a vision, I just want to walk that straight line from point A to point B. And anybody who's letting their ego get in the way, I'm no patience, angry, get out of my way. And it's not effective and it's not really fair. You know, everybody comes to the table with issues and a little bit of compassion and patience goes a long way. Um, but I think I was so insecure too that I was less patient and less compassionate. You know, it's a cycle. So there's my, you know, my natural inclination is to be very effective and not let my ego get in the way and it's all about doing the best work. And anybody who's not like that, you know, all this negative energy goes out toward them. Um, which, you know, you could say, well, it should. You know, they're not behaving right. But we don't all always behave right. And if I'm the leader of the ship, it is my job to always behave right. If I want that ship to keep moving, I have to be more compassionate, more patient than anybody else. Um, most big Hollywood directors are not like that. They're infants who, you know, and there's all sorts of stories about them and, and they can get away with it. But most of them are men. You don't hear about a lot of women getting away with behavior like that as a director of a film, maybe as a star who's super sexy, but not as a leader. So I feel like there's a higher level of expectation for my behavior because I'm a woman. And I want to live to that. I want that for myself. Yeah. I mean, I'm not all angry like, oh man, it's like I want to behave in the world in a way that is kind and fair and that gets the best out of everybody around me.